So I want to start off with Eric. Eric, you've been in the industry for, 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 for probably a good amount of time, right? We could say that. Um, can you tell us what role does an agent play when it comes to the sale of your property? So just the listing aspect of it, please. Well, I think a good analogy is the use of a quarter, looking at the quarterback and looking at what the quarterback does for the team. So your quarterback follows the coach's direction, but gives the coach input along the way. The coach ultimately tells them what play to, to, to call in order to try to win the game. So a real estate agent is like the quarterback and the owner of a property or the buyer is like the coach, okay? Now the guy in hand on the field is the quarterback. And they have to call plays fiduciarily. That's a word I like to use to describe the, the commitment as an agent to that team to win the game and get the best score. So think of that real estate agent as a person who looks out for the whole team, gets in touch with the coach, gives the coach input, the coach ultimately gives direction, and then he follows the coach's direction. Sometimes there are audible plays. Sometimes there are difficult situations, and decisions have to be made, and trust has to be um, expressed between the coach and the quarterback, between the owner or the buyer and the realtor. So my job, your job as a real estate agent, is to look at the entire process of 119 steps from the beginning of a relationship all the way through to closing escrow and decide the best way to win that for the client. Awesome. Um, sorry about that. So Robert, can you tell us from, and just as a clarification point to everyone, just because I direct a question to, you know, Eric for a listing perspective or Robert from a buyer's perspective, doesn't, I mean, they, these guys both cover both aspects of the industry. They have done sales, they've done buyers, so they know what they're talking about both, but I want to kind of just hear different prospects of it. So Robert, from a buyer's perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So right now it's, it's tough for buyers. I mean, they're losing out on many deals, you know, th things are, things are tough right now, but could you tell us what does, a, what's the role of the agent when it comes to buying a property or if they are a kind of an in-between buyer, meaning they're selling a property and then they're buying as well. So it kind of goes along the lines, what Eric just explained in terms of uh, uh, <clears throat> in the football team, who the agent is. I think it's, uh, let's look at the real estate agent. Um, I'm going to speak from the buyer side as, as the person that, that will guide you through the process. I mean, let's be honest, right? People an average only buy or sell homes, you know, every seven to 10 years, in some cases, 15, 20 years. Um, so it's not something that people do quite often, but we realtors do, and that's what we are in this industry. So I think that the main goal here is that a real estate agent should be able to coach you through the whole process of buying a process, uh, buying a house and point you in the right direction because let's all be honest that realtor is not responsible to do everything but it is also it's like the maestro in the or orchestra like he's the guy that will oversee the whole process to make sure everybody's playing at the same tune at the same level and all the processes work so at the end of the day as i said before it's our obligation of realtors to provide the best service and have the client be the winner and what's what's the price? It's a house, right? It's your dream house. Always tell people like, if 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 it's six months after you purchase a house, uh, you call your realtor to say that you hate your house. That means you're also your realtor didn't do a good job coaching you through the process of choosing the right home for you and your family. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's key. And to both of your points, um, you know, in June it'll be seven years that I've had the. Uh, absolute pleasure of working with these two gentlemen within the Eric Stewart group. And I think, you know, I've heard Eric say, you know, real estate's like surfing, kind of catching the wave. And what I've learned is from buying a house myself, um, 
it's really crucial who you have representing you. I mean, if you don't trust the expert, right? It's like you don't show up to the doctors trying to tell them how to do their job. It's kind of the same thing with us here. Um, you know, we, we've seen it all and we're here to help you. So thank you both for that. Now, 